Welcome to day minus three of my missionary journey to Africa. This is a map of Africa, and uh, I call it day number three, minus three, because I'm in Atlanta today on uh, Friday, and on Monday, I'm gonna fly to Johannesburg. And then from Johannesburg, I'm gonna go to Maputo. I wanna visit Project Benjamin and Zimpeto, which are Irish bases here in the southern part of Mozambique. Then drive up to Dondo, the base there, the Irish base there, and then I'm gonna go to visit Admiral and Elder. They're in um, UCM, Universidade Catholica Mozambique, in Beira. Elder's in his fifth year of medical school, and um, Admiral is in his second year of law school. Afterwards, I'm gonna go up to Lashinga, spend some time in Lashinga, and every 30 days I have to pass through Malawi, and it's a consolation or a great uh, opportunity I get to see Benjamin and Susie and Daniel Dungbor in Malawi. It's so fun to see their baby Benjamin grow up. And then over to uh, Robert's base in, uh, Roberto's base in um, Tet. That's an Irish base as well. But my main goal on this trip that I want to spend years in, God help me, and I will go here. This is the Aturi Forest in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is where there are a lot of pygmies, and um, the Effie tribe, this is Uganda. The Effie tribe is probably right here and up there. I can show you other maps, and I'll show you an email soon what, what it is I want to do. But the thing is, in this great big country of, of Democratic Republic Congo and Sudan, there's probably not between them 50 k's, 50 kilometers of paved roads. It's all dirt. Uh, here is this little spot there is um, more or less where Ye is in southern Sudan where the Irish base is and Michelle Perry has a wonderful base there with 135 children. I want to visit there and uh, from there I can go into DR Congo because it's, it's only about 16 miles, 16k, something like that. And uh, I really want to go in and visit those, um, I want to go to reach out to the uh, uh, pygmies there in northern Democratic Republic of Congo, and uh, when you see my email, you'll, ex you'll understand why. Welcome to the video log. I, I want to invite you on this journey. I hope that we I can go and be gone for years, and this is the first one in a series of videos that I want to put out, and hopefully somewhere, somehow, I can upload to uh, YouTube and put these on there. There's some things I want to show you that I can't do that in, too, too well in, a, in a, a video, and I want to explain why is it, or what am I going to do, or what is my preparation to go to Africa for, for years. And the most important thing is the Word of God. I want to bring the seed. The sower sows the seed. I want to be a sower. And I have some delivery systems that I want to show you. Um, I want to bring the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I want to bring His presence. I want to bring an expression of the love of God in His way. According to John 5.19, I can do nothing of myself but what I see my Father doing. And that is, all I can see my Father doing is going to the pygmies in northern DR Congo. I cannot... I can't look to the left or the right. I can't see anything else. I have to pass through five Irish spaces before I get there. But I'm going to the Democratic Republic of Congo. And um, in order to do so, um, I need your help. And uh, I need your prayers. In the end, I want to talk about those people that are praying for me and, and helping me. Uh, please stay tuned for that. But before that, more um, first things first. I want to talk about delivery systems. We have the Bible. This is in Lingala, uh, a Bible, uh, excuse me, a language of Sudan. Very few people have this Bible in Lingala, I'm sure. It's expensive, usually hard to come by. I'm going to bring it. This is the whole Word of God, and this is a great method, but many people don't read in Africa, and um, especially where we're going, where Michelle Perry's base in southern um, Sudan is. It's called the poorest place on earth, and um, we can give statistics at another time. This video is mainly to show you things like Tracks. I want to show you one of my favorite tracks. This is called Steps to Peace with God. You can get it from the American Track Society in English, uh, Portuguese, French, Swahili, and um, in Arabic. I like this track because even though I can't speak a word of Arabic, I can lead someone to Christ in, in, with this little track in, um, in Arabic. Uh, I could say, you're here, and you need to get over here where God is, but there's this great gulf fix. And you go by step by step. This one even opens backwards because... Anyway... There you are, and that's where you need to be, but you're separated by sin. And there's all the scriptures listed, but I like the pictures because I could follow along because I know this track. The only way to get from where you are to where God is, because he is holy, is through the cross of Jesus Christ. There you go. You see that? And so I want to bring a lot of these tracks. And if you come, please bring tracks. You can buy them from the American Track Society in groups and bundles like this. This is just all I can show you here. But um, 
That's for people who can read. What about the vast majority of people that don't read? The most effective tool that Africa has ever seen for the gospel of Jesus Christ is the Jesus film. This is, um, this is the case inside DVD of the Jesus film in this particular um, African language, and I have hundreds. And it's in 1,092 languages now by Campus Crusade for Christ. You can go to their website and see practically any language that you want to go to in Africa, India, or China, or anywhere, they have the Jesus film. It's in every language for uh, people groups over 100,000. And now they're working on translations for people groups between 50 and 100,000. This gospel has already been reached to preach to practically every single person on the planet that has a tribal group over 100,000. Um, and those that have uh, groups under 100,000, usually they speak two languages and they've heard it in, in another way and they can translate it into their own. But it's coming, and that's what I want to talk about for the discussion. With this method of um, um, reaching people, the Jesus film, um, most, most uh, or excuse me, many, many, many parts of Africa have been reached. You can sh show the Jesus film on a great big screen with a great big projector and a generator to power that, and thousands will come. I've seen, I've seen up to 1,500 in the north where Iris Ministries is in Pemba and other places. They've seen 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, but at that point it gets really out of hand. Dust everywhere, people talking. Um, my favorite times are between about four or 500 people, or even 100, one time it's as little as 140 people. But it's a great time. That might be the entire village we go to, and everybody will accept Christ. Everyone will confess Christ, and they will see people giving um, confession of Jesus Christ in their own language, and they're getting healed. The blind see, the deaf hear, the lame walk, the dumb speak, and they do so on a microphone, and everyone and, that knows them can hear them, and they know, hey, that person was blind or deaf or couldn't walk, and now they're testifying that they can see and hear and walk. It's a wonderful thing, and that is how um, Africa has been won. Um, that's the Jesus film, and uh, moving on, there is the Jesus film for children. It's a wonderful way to give a little more rounded approach because it talks about creation, the fall of man, and so forth. And it's geared towards children. It's very, very effective. There's another film called Magdalena in many languages. It reaches uh, children. All those are Campus Crusade for Christ. Um, there is a thought, though, after now you've gone to... After you've shown that, what do you do? Well, here's another film. Here's another piece of media. It's called God's Story from Creation to Eternity. And... Um, as it says, it's from creation to eternity. So it's another resource that you can show to people and, and use as a, ba as a launching pad to preach to people who don't otherwise read or could never read a track or a Bible. And then we're going to plant church. And then what are you going to do after you leave? Leave a person who's in charge and may not very well know the Bible or can barely read. Um, but there's great advances in technical sciences that I'm very excited about and I want to experiment with. In this trip, there's two devices here, both, so you can see from this side, are solar panels, solar-powered, solar and uh, one's called the Papyrus, and the other is the um, Megavoice. This, is, this Megavoice unit here is from a company called Megavoice. You can find them online, Megavoice. They have many, 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 many um, African and other languages on uh, available. They put them on here for you, they program it for you, and in this one as well. This one has a proprietary device that I can change it. Um, this is from RenewOutreach.com, Renew World Outreach, but their website is RenewOutreach.com. Go to their website, very important. There's huge things going on that I want to talk to you about. This is really cool because it has a chip on the side and I can put in uh, whatever I want uh, onto that chip once they've already licensed it or whatever. And um, so I can add sermons in their languages or whatever. And I'm going to leave this with a village... Um, not, not, not I don't want to say village elder. The man of peace, according to what Jesus pre preached, go in and um, when you find the man of peace, dwell with him. Or who we're going to name as the pastor. And this little speaker is very powerful and can be heard with from, for a large group, tip, uh, especially the uh, typical size of an African church, can hear the entire gospel. And uh, on this one I have two languages, and this one one language, and I have many of these. Um, there's a thing called missionary mail. When you come to Africa, bring some of these, four or five hundred if you can carry that many, and... Um, bring them in the languages that are appropriate, and we will leave these with churches that we plant so that they will not be ignorant of God's word in, in total. Um, we have the Bible here, and we need to use it. Let's, pro let's proclaim the word of God. Help us out here. Now, this helps those people um, that are in um, suburban areas. We won't say urban. We'll say suburban areas of the cities. Now, what about the people in the outback, um, the people in the, in the jungles, the people in, that are... Um, not accessible by, by roads. As I mentioned, in um, DR Congo and Sudan, there's not a lot of paved roads. It's all dirt. And being very close, and in fact, on the equator, 
Um, there's DR Congo is on the equator. There's a lot of rain. Uh, the rainy season is in the north of the equator and the south of the equator, so they get both. And so the roads are often impassable and without a really, well, even with an extremely strong 4x4, you cannot pass some of those roads at some times. Um, it's just a real headache and a heartache to get stuck in those roads and get out and push in the mud. So the solution that I've thought that the, I think the Lord is leading me to do is go with a motorcycle. And I need uh, one for myself, one for a teammate uh, from Uganda named Eddie uh, Bussini. And he, um, he rides real well. He speaks Swahili and he uh, can communicate with pygmies who will then I hope to uh, bring with us. Need another motorcycle for that. And one for an armed guard because that's how you have to travel because the Lord's Resistance Army, if you've heard of Joseph Coney, you can look it up on the net. Um, wonderfully negative um, information on the net about that. You can find, um, but the Lord's Resistance Army has been running roughshod over um, this area that I'm going into for many decades. They recruit child soldiers. They will go in and they give a, a machine gun to a child and uh, a young boy and say, shoot your family or we shoot you. And that's your choice. Those that have shot their family or soldiers with the Lord's Resistance Army now feel too guilty and ashamed and unwanted to ever go back. And uh, it's a terrible thing and I want to see it stopped. And I want to pray for that. And um, please join me in prayer. As I said, uh, you're invited to come along if just by video or just by prayer or by giving or physically. Come out and join us. But when we go into DR Congo and we go up these rivers on canoes or trails on motorcycles or where there are no trails, um, we're going to need something much lighter than the typical Jesus film equipment that's been used to show the Jesus film around. You know, this usually, this video or um, just if, if you have like an iPod video player to play the videos from, you still need a big projector, big amplifier, and some speakers. That requires a generator, and that, ex that, that makes it prohibitive to ever get that equipment to somewhere just on a motorcycle or a, or a canoe, where I want to go up and see Pygmy tribes on a canoe. Now, um, now, how do you overcome that? Well, as I said, and want to plug again, this is one of the be best little, best resources, Renew World Outreach. Go to Renew outreach.com. This is a wonderful resource. They have, um, uh, David Pulaski there, has come up with the use of this wonderful little LED projector. It's only um, 50, what is it, 50 watts? It's a 50 watt projector, so it doesn't draw much juice. So it, if you have this and a certain battery with a certain uh, matched solar panel to it, you can charge the battery with the solar panel, power this and an amp, and you can project the Jesus film just about as well as you can with a big, huge productions that you have to take with on the back of a truck. So I'm hoping to get the rest of the equipment to um, power this. See, now, I usually have a big projector and a media player. Well, this little device has a little spot on, on it right here for a tiny micro card. This is just an adapter, this thing on this side. That's the tiny little card that fits into this, and so I don't need a media player. If I can load... Um, this, if I can load the Jesus film and other media onto this little tiny card, that micro card, that little black dot there, into this, then I can show the Jesus film um, by just equipment that I can carry on a backpack. But um, the lithium phosphate battery is not quite out yet, and the amplifier they have has a DVD player in it. It's wonderful. Buy that equipment. But um, I don't need the DVD player in an amp. And so they're producing one soon that will not have the DVD player because I'll take, um, I'll, I'll burn the D, the um, the uh, the media, for instance, you know, God's story, I'll burn that onto a little tiny chip, put it in here, and I won't need to carry the weight of a DVD player, and I can get much more mobile. That's the goal. That's where we're going. And I want to uh, invite you